Welcome to Slide Guitar as a Second Language. My name is Phil Johnson. Before we get started, before we go much further, I think we better tune up. Now you see we've tuned to standard tuning and that's what this video is all about. This is Slide Guitar as a Second Language. You don't have to learn a whole brand new tuning and a whole new way of playing chords up and down the neck. We're going to use the guitar knowledge that you already have. Now when I started playing guitar, I've learned all the chords down on the neck in first position. Then when I learned how to bar, I took them up and played them up in the various other positions. That's exactly what we're going to do here. The only difference is that we'll be using the bar to fret partially uh, part of the chords and our fingers to fret the other part of the chords. That's some of the behind the bar technique that we'll be working with. Now there's going to be a whole lot of technique. That's what this video is all about. There's not a lot of songs in repertoire. That's going to be the subject for future videos. But the idea is for you to take these slide guitar techniques and adapt it to your own style of music. Whatever style of music you think slide guitar will fit into, these techniques will work. For instance, I play a lot of traditional and contemporary country music. I also play folk music and bluegrass, play a lot of blues and some swing and a little bit of jazz. So we'll be touching on all of those styles throughout uh, this video. If you take a look at the little booklet you have, you'll notice that there are some very familiar tunes in there, and we'll be using those songs as examples throughout the video course. Now this video is laid out in six lessons, and these lessons are progressive. One builds upon the other. So what I'm going to ask you to do, if I give you a technique, I'm going to ask you to take some time, work with it, get a little comfortable with it before moving on. If you try to go too fast, you'll find that it's very difficult and might even be a little bit frustrating. We don't want that to happen. So take your time, take it easy, and don't go on to one technique until you feel real comfortable with the one I've just given you. Right now, let's take a little break. We'll come back and we'll talk all about uh, what we're going to be talking about and learning in this video.